No! You stay and watch! For you, Dawn of the Apes! Oh. Dawn of the Apes is a sequel to Rise of the Apes. I can't help it. No! <laughs> it's been ten years since the virus has hit Earth, and now Caesar has grown. He's a big man, he's a daddy. He's got kids, he's got a wife, he's been doing some action. But still, that's not why we're here. We're here to talk about the storyline of Dawn of the Apes. Big C. So later on, you see Caesar involving around with his little friends, playing, doing all the little sign languages and everything. But then, when the humans come along, you've seen it in the trailer, the guy with the gun. That's the first time you see the human. And he's like, he's like pointing, he's like, where are they? And all that sort of stuff. And he shoots one of them. Caesar comes down, like a lad, he's jaw jumping like, ooh. 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 And the main character, the new main character called Malcolm in the film, he's there, he's all like, what's going on? And um, it's the first time we've seen it, it's the first time I've seen apes, for like, I reckon for the first in 10 years. And they're all like just standing there, he's got a gang of them. He's like, this guy's not normal. There's something, something's wrong here. So he's like, put the gun down. And the other guy's like, they're just apes. So he puts them down. But when Caesar first speaks for the first time in front of humans, it's like you heard him for the first time in Rise of the Apes. And he went, no! But this time it's not, no, it's, go! Go! That's when the film gets interesting. When you hear that go film, you, you poo because you're excited. You can't hold it in. It's when you're all scared, you need to poo. It's like that. So they go back, the humans go back to their base. And the old man's there. He's there and he's, he's like, how did the mission go? That's when Malcolm tells Gary about the apes. But um, Gary, Gary's like, we need this electricity. We need it. We need supplies, we need all that. And the supplies they need is up up where Caesar lives. It's they need that electricity. They need to turn on the power. They ask Gary if they can go up there to put on the power. So when they go up there, you think it's gonna be a typical yes, do all that, but no, there's some twists, there's some turns, it's like a roller coaster. It's it's really good. Andy plays really well at playing Caesar. He's he's just amazing with CGI caption motion but if you didn't know this Koba isn't the same guy who played him in the first one you may recognize him from Prince of Persia some other films but he oh, he's so good he plays Koba really well there's some amazing fight scenes there's loads of apes and fighting scenes <laughs> So go watch this in the cinema now. It's brilliant. If I'd say how much out of ten, I'll say an eight point one.